Okay. Hey, what's happening, all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Gaming Dragon, and welcome to a really random video. Now, what is this of? It's a tier list. I have never done a tier list before, but the first time I ever wanted to do a tier list, I wanted to say I want to do something that is relating to my channel. So, what I did was compile nearly 109 different playlists of videos that I have done, and I'm going to rank them from best to worst and see how they fare. Now, these videos are based off of a certain criteria. First off, they have to be sets I've already completed. So, none of the new ones in here, like Assassin's Creed 2, um, at the moment, um, Full Metal Alchemist is not in this. Dragon Age Inquisition is, but I'll explain that in a minute. Digimon Story is not in this, and as of the moment, Sleeping Dogs is not in this either. To qualify for this list, the videos had to be already completed. Has to have it has to have the ending already in it. Has to be at least longer than three to four episodes and has to fit a mold as in certain things that I have already accomplished so basically games that I've just left off is not entries here so let's look at a list oh, oh I almost fucked that up Boop. <laughs> Welcome to my tier list, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, as you can see, down at the bottom, we have 109 different games. And we're going to rank them. Well, I'm going to sit here and rank them. So, this is a Damien Dragon's playlist, tier list, tier list maker. It's fucked up, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go off the experience I personally have with the game. So, first off. Mortal Kombat Deception. Now, Mortal Kombat Deception was one of those games that I really enjoyed relatively long, and I didn't hate it. But the problem is, like, for me personally, I, I wouldn't put this in, like, the S or A tiers. For the simple fact of it is, um, it jet lagged the fuck out of me <laughs> when I was playing it. For the simple fact of it is, when you play Mortal Kombat Deception, your best vibe of the game is sitting there like, okay, do I do these quests or do I not? Or it's like sometimes you get turned around when you don't want to. So, I'm going to place it in D. I'm not going to place it in the middle because it was on the suckier end of it. Okay, so that's that. I got to like speed run these because there's 109. Okay, next up, Samurai Jack. I loved it. Loved it to pieces. Everything about it was fun. I'm, I can't put it in the S column, but I can put it in A. I love Samurai Jack. Jack 2. Now, Jack 2, as you guys know, was our, one of our last... Um, well, before Pokemon Sword came back with the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor expansion packs, Jack 2 was the game we were focusing on. It, it kind of... It, it did not make me want to play it all too often. I uh, lagged the fuck out a lot more often than I wanted it to. It just did not feel like the motion that I really wanted it to. So I'm going to place it down here at E. Monster House. Uh, I liked Monster House. I didn't hate it, but I didn't exactly like it. Monster House was one of those games where it, it just felt like there was something missing. It was that vibe of the house. It's like, the house did come alive when you were attacking everything, but just didn't feel the same. So, where I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it in the middle. Because, it's not on the same level of Mortal Kombat. I can't say too much, like, hateful things about it. But, it's not up where Samurai Jack is, because I can't say too much about how I like it. It's not a thing for me. Okay, next up, Uncharted 2. Uncharted 2 was beautiful. I loved Uncharted 2. It's just that the story 
it just didn't feel right to me because he's doing all this and it feels like you get nothing out of it. So I'm going to place it in B. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Assassin's Creed for a Black Flag. Everyone's going to fight me for this, but I love Assassin's Creed Black Flag. For once, felt like a pirate. Everything felt smooth. It just felt so good. The story made you want to go more. The characters are likable. Everything. It just feels so right with the world. I loved Assassin's Creed for a Black Flag. I loved recording it. So, as here it is. Next up, Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules. I loved both the Fairly Odd Parents video games. So, what I'm going to do is. It, there's no wrong when it comes to this. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? To put the other one on this list, where is it? I'm, like, I'm trying to find it. Is this shit all the way down at the fucking bottom or something? Um, We'll figure it out. Because it's somewhere. I just don't know where. I don't know where the other one is. But, oh, nope, it's right there. <laughs> it's the second one on the list. So, they're both right there. Love it. Pokemon Emerald. I love Pokemon Emerald. Poke, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon Emerald. Um, One of the original games I played when I was a kid, there is nothing I could say bad about Pokemon Emerald. But it just feels like when you play older generations of Pokemon games, it just feels like it... I'm not going to say it felt like it's left back. <laughs> the, the Pokemon community just had their pitchforks and torches out. Just like, they, they all they want to do is just now murder, murder, murder. Put it away. But Pokemon Emerald is one of those games where, you know, it stands the test of time. But it's just like, when it compares to the others on the list, should it be up there? So, I don't hate it. So, it goes right here. Tom and Jerry in a War of Whiskers. It wasn't what I expected. In all honesty. So, that's why it's going down here. Um, I had a, I had a blast playing. But, it's just like, the sad thing is, it's like, it gets repetitive. Real, real repetitive. And, it was kind of a chore because I'm like, I'm sitting there trying to figure out how to make these videos. And I'm like... Like, another game on this list does it right, but when it came to Tom and Jerry, I just couldn't, you know, wrap my head around it. So, sorry, Tom Jerry. I love you. Uncharted 3. Uh, Uncharted 3 was good. So, it's going to go up here. Uncharted 3 was good because you actually felt like you were a survivor. You were a treasure hunter. You were a survivor. You had to survive all this fucking shit. And it was felt so good. So, there we go. Toy Story 3. I felt like it had the same problem as Monster House. So, it's going to go right here. Because I didn't hate anything in Toy Story 3. But it just did not make me want feel like I was playing one of the toys. Because it's just like... It didn't make me feel like I was really surviving. I blasted through it. In all honesty, I wanted a little bit more of a challenge of the game. It just did not it just did not go on there. So I liked it. Just it just did not work for me too well. Wizards 101. Wizards 101. I love playing the game. Um is there a certain shit that I think can be explained a little bit more for new players? Absolutely. The problem with me being is that I'm a veteran of the game. I've been playing for many years, and I can point out the problems of Wizards 101. The Wizards, one, Wizards 101 is one of my favorite games of all time. I've always played it. And the problem with it being, um, I just felt like it just got lost in the fucking shuffle when it came to like everything else. Because, you know, spellcasting was great. Everything feels very fluent, but it just 
I just do not know what I want to do with it. So <sighs> there we go. Injustice. Injustice 2. Um, the reason why this is on this list is because I was never, I never meant for it to be a full game. So that's why it is where it is. So I'm going to put it about right here because I, I didn't like it. It just, it's, it's, <sighs> The comment was great. The characters was great. I just felt like it toned down what it was supposed to be for like the other characters. And it just did not feel like Injustice Gods Among Us because Injustice Gods Among Us kind of got that down. I think that they put in a little bit too much when it came to Injustice 2. Um, it just didn't feel all that responsive. So, hey. Let it die. Let it die, let it die, let it die. What can I say about let it die? Holy shit. <laughs> it is a Japanese game. Um, I'm going to put it on the same level as Mortal Kombat Deception. Because, hear me out. I played a lot of let it die. A lot. And sometimes I just feel like I don't make any, any kind of fucking progress. It's extremely fucking difficult. It's a Japanese game. And it just feels like, you know, it's grueling to new players. So, let's die, stand the test of time down there. Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. I'm going to put it in B. I loved it. I loved it. But it's just, it feels like it, sometimes it has more to be desired and it's, it depending on what source I'm playing is? Am I playing on PC or am I playing on PlayStation? I don't know. <laughs> so, on PC is great. On PlayStation, uh, so it, it just dumbs it down. So, Conquer's bad fucking fur day. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Everything from the characters to the language to literal, literal story. It changes up and it feels like it's fucking natural. It's, it's fucking beauty. It's a masterpiece on screen. I loved playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Go check it out. It was awesome. One Piece Grand Adventure. Again, not what I expected when I, I picked a One Piece game. I was expecting adventuring, exploring, you know, getting to know the, the characters and all that. It was just, you know, a fighting game. It was just there. Not to say I love I love One Piece. Just I just it, the game fell short for me. I I, I want to play the newer games because maybe it has a lot more to be desired. But until then, it's just like uh, didn't do it. Anyway, The Sims Three. Meet the Dragons. Wow. And at the time, I did put my actual real-time girlfriend into the game with her supervision of course she even watched the series she said it was it was fucking divine and I like that realism that I put in there so I put I'll, I'll put it up there Jack and Dexter in a precursor legacy a it's well above Jack 2 because controls were responsive feels really good the story just feels like you're progressing through everything the difficulty is still challenging, but still makes you feel like you're making more progress. And just everything, it, it's like everyone has their own, you know, unique personality instead of just grunge. So, that's why Jack, uh, Jack 1 is up on A and Jack 2 is kind of down there. Ready to Rumble Boxing. Now, I'm, I'm going to place these in um, regular, intertwined, like the original series and Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. And both of them stem at B. Because it's still a lot to be there, but the game was fun regardless of how old I get. It just stands the test of time for me, and I love it. Bakugan Battle Brawlers. I'm going to put it in D. Why? Because 
my issue was I think it was just um, you know what I was using to run it. Every every character was shaded in. The story was fine. It just like how it looked all the time. It just felt out of place. So, bear me. Fallout Shelter. And yes, don't tell me I didn't finish that game. <laughs> I'm going to put it in C because it was tedious to play, but also I didn't hate to play it. So, I'm going to put out Fallout Shelter. I'm going to put Fallout Shelter in C because it's just, I like to play the game, but it just didn't, you know, it just didn't come through with everyone else. So, it's what it is. Man-eater. I love playing with Sharky. Oh, yes, I fucking do. I love playing with my Sharky. Oh, yes, so oh, yes, I do. Oh, yay. Hope Sharky's doing well. You guys know why I like playing a man-eater. And go watch the series. I can guarantee you it's going to be a riot. Anyway, Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm going to put it in A tier. I'm not going to put it in S tier. Um, game's still fun. It's still, like, I can play it so many times, and I still feel like, you know, getting sucked into the adventure. So, I played that for a good 170 to 190 episodes. Going into 200, I believe. I'm past 200 at this point, I probably. But, it's still really good to me. And the reason why it's on this list, even though it's still ongoing, is because I've already beat the game on stream. I'm just doing it now. So, I'll probably, you know, skip through. <laughs> Saints Row 3rd Remastered. Oh my god, I have both Saints Row games on here, so you guys know exactly why they're going up there. Where is it? Where is it? Jesus. It's just going to take a fucking while to find them. Because, good lord, I have a lot of games on here. I want to say, did I pass it again? Yep. <laughs> I love the Saints Row series. Go back and watch me play Saints Row and you tell me why. <laughs> so fun. Oh my god, carnage everywhere. It's it spawned my rampage mode and I fucking love it. It's divine. Next up, Donkey Kong Country. Ah. <clears throat> now I understand Donkey Kong Country is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is meant to be those one of those characters who feels extremely heavy, but Diddy didn't need to. Like, I know some people will fight me on it. It's like, Diddy didn't feel heavy when he plays. Sometimes he did. And sometimes it's just that clunky nature. It's just, it did not make you want, it did not pull you into that adventure. The game was awesome. I love Donkey Kong Country. It just, again, leaves more to be desired. Dead Alive 5 last round. I'm going to put it in B. Why? Fan service, and I love fighting. <laughs> Alright. So, we're going to speed round. Well, we're going to... We're just going to speed it. Bratz Rock Angels. I'm going to put it at C. I still like it, but there are some problems with it. Super Mario World. I love Super Mario World. It always has a place in my heart, and I'll still play it again. Happy Wheels. I'm going to put it in the A column. Love it. Love the game. Love the gore. Love the animations. And love the community that that has it. Awesome. The Escapist. I'm going to put it right here because it's a really good game. I just fucking suck. Okay. Tony X American Wasteland up here because the game was great. I actually you know what. We're going to move it down around. Because Tony X American Wasteland is still a really good game. It's still, it, I feel like uh, Tony X Underground 2 Pictured right here. Feels like it should be up there because it just had a lot more. Disney's Magical Mirror. I loved playing with Mickey Mouse and Spawn. A series that I did not know people really wanted to see. So, awesome. 
God of War 2. I'm going to put it up here. I love it. I love it. I love it. The original God of War as well. I'm going to put it up there too. I love it. 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 Paladins. I'm going to put it in B because it still feels a little bit weird to me that I'm playing it, but I still love the game regardless. So there we go. As I said earlier, this this is why I said this does a little more better. The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I'm going to put it in the A column. I'm going to need to do that. I'm going to put that in the I'm going to put that in the B column. Oh my fucking I'm going to put that in the B column. So that's where that's going to be. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I'm going to put that into C. I didn't mind it. Um it just they could have added a little bit a, a little bit onto it. You know what I mean? I know it was a remaster, but fuck me, man. Overwatch. Overwatch. A. Hey, love Overwatch. Love my Widowmaker. There you go. Fusion Fall. Rest in peace, you fucking legend. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Can never get enough of Dragon Ball Z. So, there you go. The Animaniac, the Great Edgar Hunt. I'm going to put it right here. Love the Great Edgar Hunt. I always had a fun time because it just it just felt so fucking good to play the Animaniacs. Even though I got my first fucking copyright strike because of it. Well, it wasn't a copyright strike. Not entirely. Pokemon XD, Gala Darkness. Love it. Also up there, Pokemon Coliseum. Why? Because I love that series. I love playing Pokemon in 3D. It looks fucking good. And that's beyond always has my heart. So, yes. Bratz Forever Diamonds. I'm going to say B. I just felt like it was more responsive in um, Forever Diamonds than Rock Angels. So, yes. And the story was a little bit more better. So, awesome. And a lot more action. So, yeah. <laughs> totally impressed. Sun Hill 3. I'm going to put it in the B column. I was going to put it in C, but I'm going to put it in B. Love, I love Silent Hill 3 because the game was actually really cool. It was, it just had that deep ass story, but sometimes it just did not make me want to come back and play all too often. Banjo and Kazooie is going to go up there. Timeless spectacle. It was really fun to play. I love getting in with Banjo, though I, it was only like that last section that I had a problem with, so awesome. Pokemon Soul Silver, I'm going to put it at C because I didn't get to finish it. Um, even though I felt like I, I, I was going to finish it, all I had to do was leave four. So, leave four. I leave four. I leave four and I got kind of got cut. So, it's, it's under Emerald. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Up here in the A column. Loved playing in the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. The mechanics were awesome. The character was memorable. And I loved running around as Link. It just felt really good. So, there you go. The suffering. It kind of made me suffer just a little bit. Um, it's just like the the punchy graphics. It just made you want to melt your eyes. And it just, some of the characters, it just, you didn't really feel bad for. So, eh. Looney Tunes back in action. Ah. <sighs> I have to be real with myself. <laughs> Let's be real. At least right back in action wasn't that bad of a game. Eh. Toy Story 2. F. Why? Go check out this. Go check out the videos and you'll see why. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. I'm going to put it up here. <laughs> There's no reason why I shouldn't. In all honesty. Game was great. Very timeless, and it stemmed, uh, it stemmed up there with, um, what's it called, the third installment. It just felt really good to play as Nathan Drake in that one. G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. It just did not feel good to play. Def Jam, Fight for New York. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it, and I'll put Def Jam Vendetta right along with it. Why? Because I feel the same damn way. Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm going to put it in the C column. But it's a fact of it is. I didn't really care for much for Super Mario Brothers 3. 
again, pitchforks down. I I just felt like, you know, it was just over reliance on certain shit. It's like the gimmicks just fell flat. Now everyone's gonna hate me, but my favorite games of all time. Sly Cooper, the Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, Sly Two Band of Thieves, and <laughs> and Sly Three Honor Among Thieves all have a place up top. I loved bringing these to you guys, and I it's just it's just phenomenal. I loved playing Sly the Sly Cooper series. I still want to play Sly Four, but um, we'll figure that out eventually. <laughs> Pac-Man World 2. Pac-Man, 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 Pac-Man. It's going to go in B. Because I liked it. It just didn't feel like it's in the. it should be in the upper echelon. Soul Calibur 2. Felt like it had a little bit more to be desired. <laughs> um, It just, at that time, I don't feel like it was just up to snuff. Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Let me put it up there because I just felt really fucking good getting through the game. It was incredible. I loved playing with Mario and all the new characters. I love the Paper Mario series. I want to play Origami King. Actually, my buddy Image Tortuga is playing it on uh, Invisible Corporation. It looks fucking divine. I want to play it. Apex Legends. A, because I really wasn't that good at it, but I still had a blast. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger series. Ty 1 was great. Ty 2 was great. I just felt Ty... Th oh, wait, 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 wait. Ty 3 needs to be down here. Ty 2 and 1 should be up here. Why? Because I just felt like these two kind of got it nailed down. Ninth, uh, Ty 3 kind of, you know, fucked up all the entire things that Ty 1 and Ty 2 kind of made good. So, yeah. Ultimate Custom Night. I loved playing Ultimate Custom Night because it just felt like everything was in your hands. Everything was in your hands. Everything just felt really divine playing. So, Ultimate Custom Night... You got my seal of approval. The Whack Your series. Like, Whack, um, what's it called? <laughs> whack Your Ex, Whack Your Fiance, Whack a Cheater. I played a couple of those. So, I'm going to put that in the solid in the B column because I still do love it. I just haven't got to around to playing it. Crash the Insane Trilogy. I love playing Crash Bandicoot. And they love the remaster of my, my boy Crash. Oh, fuck yes. Let's go. <laughs> Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Never hated it. Still love it. So, feels good. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. <sighs> love the characters. Love running around with um, Star Killer. Just kind of felt off. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. <laughs> Near and dear. Nicktoons Unite. I never minded Nicktoons Unite. Um, it just feel like he, some of these systems in place for Nicktoons Unite uh, needed a little bit more work. So, in all honesty. Super Mario Strikers. Uh, again, still a little bit more work, but it felt good to play. Jesus. Deadpool! <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight. Wow. Batman, Batman, Batman. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how we roll in there. Al Alan Wake's American Nightmare. It's been a while since I've, I've talked about this game, but I'll put that in the A column. I love playing American Nightmare. It just felt really progressive. I didn't know the full story, but you could still kind of get it from just playing the game. So, and it felt really cool to like play out new systems and stuff that I really haven't been uh, exposed to. Really good game. Go check it out. Blacklight Retribution. A lot to be desired. I played it when I first started with the PlayStation 4. But it just kind of wore off eventually. So, eh. Five Nights at Wario's. I love it so much, so much. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I love playing Five Nights at Wario's. It was just so fucking cool to play. I tried to play the other games. It just did not work out the way it did. So, hey. Oh. Delta Room. Oh, Delta Room. I can't put you anywhere else but there. Delta Room was awesome. I still need to play Undertale. Why am I putting it off? 
Fucking hell. Doki Doki Literature Club. Actually, this one actually is going to make me think. In all honesty. Doki Doki Literature Club. Prose. Really good rom-com. Really good horror game. Um, rom-com. It, 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 was, it, was it was a dating game. Um, but it got me a death threat. <laughs> to be honest, I like playing. I like, I like seeing the characters drama play out. Really good game. So go check it out. Malachi, Malachi, Malachi. If you guys don't know what Malachi Horror Jump Scare is, it's a basically like a niche, you know, cult following. Uh, go check it out. Actually, I, I played a good amount of uh, Malachi Horror Jump Scare. Go check it out. This is actually a really fun game. <sighs> Evie the Clever Bot. E, as in fucking evil. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, Evie. I love you, but fucking hell. Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Um, we're going to do Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So, I'm going to put that in the A column. Awesome. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I'm going to put that in the B. Why? Because it just felt really, you know... It felt good, but it just did not live up to the first one. I felt like it's just too much shit. Back to the simplification at night three. Feel pretty good about it. I still hate Spring Bitch, but you got you, you can't hate him forever. Uh, FNAF World. FNAF World. It's going to go down here. I, I don't hate it, um, but I don't exactly, you know. It's It, it has more redeeming quality, so it's up there. FNAF Pizzeria Simulator. I love playing Pizzeria Simulator because it just, you did not know what the fuck to expect next. And I loved it. Cuphead. Oh, the rage. <laughs> oh, the rage. It's going to go up here, nay. Uh, Layers of Fear. Wow. Okay. Layers of Fear has been one of those games where I've consistently enjoyed myself. So, Layers of Fear has been extremely great. I love it to pieces. So, there we go. Mr. Hop's Playhouse. I'm going to play it in the B tier. Um, this was actually a fan-submitted game that came from our lovely moderator, Miss Coquelette. Uh, she told me to play Mr. Hop's Playhouse. And to be honest, I got the biggest fucking weird, weird out sensation playing that game ever. So, thank you. Hyper Street Fighter. I didn't get too much out of it. And, and believe me, I got one of my uh, thumbnails taken down <laughs> because of it. So, it's going to be down there. Kirby's Dream Course. The reason why it's up here because I know I didn't finish it on here. But I did finish it over on the Invisible Corporation. So, technically, still finished it. So, Kirby's, um, Kirby's Dream Course. It's a B. Good. Lego Indiana Jones. Fucking hell. Um... So I'm going to put it up here. I love Lego Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's just, it just felt really good to play. Luigi's Mansion. I'm going to put it in C. I don't mind it. It just felt like... It just felt like I have a weird pace for a Mario game. Uh, speaking of Mario game... Super Mario Sunshine, awesome game. Mario Kart DS, well, I can't put it down there, so. Uh, it's not down there, but it's down there for a reason. Mortal Kombat X. I'm going to put it up in here. Love the game, always have been a fan. Slenderman. Now, the reason why this is here, because I played a lot of the Slenderman games. Um, Slender Arrival, I believe Slender Sanatorium, I've also played Slender Hospital. Um, some games that are not meant to be, uh, Slender games, I played at Slender games. So, Slender games have been on here for a good bit. So, uh, I'm gonna put it in A. I love Slenderman. Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter. I'm going to put that in B because I did enjoy the game. I just couldn't really get into it. So it's not its fault. <sighs> My buddy, Five Nights at Fuck Boys. Five Nights at Fuck Boys. I'm going to put it in A. So I can put it in S. I loved, I love Five Nights at Fuck Boys. 
It just was so fucking funny to me. Yo, get ready for Freddy. <laughs> the Five Nights at Candy series. I'm going to put it in B. It still never, like, lived up to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, but it was actually really fucking good. I enjoyed it. Scooby-Doo First Frights. Game was good. It just felt kind of off. But as for Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights, much different, much better. Sister Location. That's to go in A. I enjoy Sister Location. So, it's an incredible fucking thing for me. I personally enjoyed it. So, hey. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. 35 minutes. 109 playlists. Ah, okay, so let's see our cheerleaders. At the bottom, very bottom, in F, Toy Story 2 and G.I. Joe. Uh, in E, we got Jack 2, Tom and Jerry's War of Whiskers, One Piece Grand Adventures, Eevee the Clever Bot, and Mario Kart DS. In D, we got Mortal Kombat Deception, Let It Die, Bakugan Battle Brawlers, The Suffering, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, and Hyper Street Fighter 2. And C, we got Monster House, Toy Story 3, Injustice, Fallout Shelter, Donkey Kong Country, Bratz Rock Angels, SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, Pokemon Soul Silver, Super Mario Bros. 3, Soul Calibur 2, Nicktoons Unite, um, Super Mario Strikers, Blacklight Retribution, Luigi's Mansion, and Scooby Doo First Rights. Up in the B column, we got Uncharted 2. Uh, uh, sorry, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. There we go. A Pokemon Emerald. We got Wizards 101. Minecraft. We got Ready to Rumble Boxing. Dead or Alive 5 Last Round. The Escapist. Tony Ox American Wasteland. We got Paladins. Champions of the Round. The Billy, um, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Bratz. Forever Diamonds. Sli um, sorry, Silent Hill 3. We also got Looney Tunes Back in Action. Pac-Man 2. Tie 3. Oh, sorry. Tie 3 Night of the Quaken. The Wackier Games, Doki Doki Literature Club, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, FNAF World, Mr. Hops' Playhouse, Kirby's Dream Course, Mortal Kombat X, so um, oh, sorry, uh, Never Winter, uh, Dungeon and Dragons, and the, F and the Five Nights at Candies series. Uh, but A. <sighs> Samurai Jack, we got Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules, we got Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown, we also got Uncharted 3. Um, we also got The Sims 3, Jack and Dexter and the Precursor Legacy. We also got Dra uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, Happy Wheels. We got Tony Hawk's American, sorry, not American, Wait, said Underground 2. We got Mickey Mouse's Disney's Magical Mirror. We got God of War 2. We got God of War 1. We got Overwatch. We got Dragon Age, not Dragon Age, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, The Animaniacs, The Great Edgar Hunt. Zel um, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Uncharted Drake's Fortune, we got Def Jam Fight for New York, Def Jam Vendetta, Apex Legends, we got Ultimate Custom Night, Midnight Club 3 Double Edition, <clears throat> we got Batman Arkham Knight, we got Alan Wake's American Nightmare, we got Five Nights at Wario's, we got Malachi Horror Jump Scare, Five Nights at Freddy's, and Five Nights at Freddy's 3, F Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, Cuphead, we also got Layers of Fear, Super Mario Sunshine, <coughs> <coughs> Damn, Thunderman, we got Scooby-Doo, Night of Hundred Frights, and Sister Location. And up in the S tier, the top of the rank for me personally, we got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, we got Conker's Bad Fur Day, Maneater, Saints Row 3 and 4, we got Super Mario World, we got Fusion Fall, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, and Pokemon Coliseum. We got Banjo and Kazooie. We got Sly Cooper 1, 2, and 3. We got Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. We got Tide Ty, 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 Tiger and Tide 2 Bush Rescue. We also got Crash the Insane Trilogy. We got Mortal Kombat, Armageddon, Deadpool, Delta Room, Le Lego Indiana Jones, and Five Nights at Fuck Boys. <coughs> <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
That is 109 different playlists that I have personally done and completed. If you guys want to go check out any one of these games, then they're all free to watch all on my channel. So go check them all out. They're all wonderful pieces of work that I've personally done in the past. I hope it is worth something to you because it was worth something to me. So thank you guys so much. Um, I wanted to do this personally because I've done so many series on these. Uh, I've done so much series, so many series on this channel that it's, it's incredible. <laughs> in all honesty, and wow. And that's not even scratching the surface of some of the other ones I have. So, add on Sleeping Dogs, add on GTA, add on a lot of the other shut, sh other shut, other shit that I've played, and believe me, it'll blow your fucking mind how many series I've actually have. This is the actual complete list of all of the stuff I've had. There's plenty more, and these total a good thousand or so episodes that I've done. So. I hope it's worth the time to go check out all these videos. I hope it is. Because I love it, and I'm pretty sure you guys will as well. So thank you. For a good seven years of my life, this is what a lot of it boils down to. So, I appreciate that. <laughs> In all honesty. So, thank you so much for watching. It's been 41 minutes and 109 playlists so oh. anyway on uh, the left hand side of the screen of the last 20 seconds will be a playlist that YouTube thinks is right for you or no what no it's gonna be a random playlist on my selection go check it out also on the right that way the subscribe button I just click it and join because we do something like this every single day there is no reason why you shouldn't be clicking always some fun happening so you're gonna want to be here for all the action so and i encourage you go watch them all i bet you're gonna like what you see until then ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoy it's time for us to end off good gaming happy hunting and i'll see all you dragon links back inside the world of the dragon i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time for some more gaming dragon action peace I'm going to go die. See you guys next time. Peace.